Let's talk about alternating relays. And we use those to control motors. And, uh, you know, motors have duty cycles. Uh, maybe they can only start 20 times an hour and have to rest three minutes between each start. And if you have to do uh, more than that, then you want to use two, two motors and alternate them, you know. So you'll run one first, and then, and then the second time around, you'll run the second motor. And the first one can be uh, uh, cooling down when you're running the second one. So in this case, I made up a little alternating relays here. And this is to control a, uh, a sump pump here. We got a, a, a float down here in the water. And what happens here is when the float comes up, makes contact, the first pump's going to turn on. And when that happens, R1 is going to lock in and it's going to latch in. It's right across the line there, okay? And uh, and then if the, uh, as the water recedes, pump one's going to, one's going to stop. And then the second time around when it comes back up, uh, R1 here is closed. This R1 is closed here. And uh, the second pump is going to come on, okay? Now, you'll see that I have a capacitor down here. It's a, this one happens to be 22 microfarad to 50 volts. It's a 24 volt system here. And what you need to do here is when, uh, when this contact closes, this is going to open up. But we need to have this R1 here stay closed until this until this opens up okay so we add a capacitor across there and it just puts a little time delay in that relay the relay is not going to shut off right away okay so um, that's what the capacitor does there it just uh, allows it to uh, to make before this thing breaks here okay now most of the time we won't do uh, you know a relay logic logic like this but we'll do it with the uh, ladder logic and a plc so in a PLC, what happens is the, these, these physical inputs, like this one here, they're updated into memory, and then starting from the, the top left over here, uh, the CPU executes these, these rungs this way, and uh, each rung and the sub-rungs here, all the way to the bottom, and as it executes those, and when it gets to the last one, it updates all the outputs, these outputs here, okay? So then you don't have any problem with, you know, make before break on that. So in a uh, PLC, it's going to work just fine. But if you're doing a re relays, you might need to, uh, to slow this one down a little bit to have uh, make before break. So I put one together and I'll show you how it works. And then, you know, um, electricians use, uh, you know, alternating relays. But uh, if you're into electronics, it's just a flip flop. Okay. So. What I did is I took, uh, here's the one alternating relay here. I put three of them together and I made a binary counter out of them, okay? Uh, last time we made a binary counter out of uh, uh, some uh, D-type flip-flops, but I'm just going to do it with relays now. And uh, this is your typical uh, diagram of how these flip-flops work. But uh, when you, uh, here's the first one here and R2 here is going to control the second uh, flip-flop here. So basically just th three flip-flops, three alternating relays or three flip-flops, okay? And this is going to count to, to seven there, okay? I'll show you how that works. So here's the unit here. And if I turn that on. Now, this is the, the float here, the control. I turn that on. I've got one pump running, okay? And when I let go, that pump's going to be off. Second time comes on, then this pump here is going to start up, okay? So it's just going to alternate back and forth, uh, pump pump one, and then pump two, okay? Now, as far as the uh, counter goes, this, is, this one here is your uh, one, and these are binary, one, two, and four. So we go one, one stays on, two, three, two and one is three, then well, we have four, and then we have uh, five, and then six, two and four, six, and then a one, we have seven, and then it just goes back. Now, you could add more relays and count up higher if you like, but uh, so that's just the uh, binary counter made out of these alternating relays or uh, flip-flops if you want. So, uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. So, uh, but the uh, the alternating relays work good uh, out in the uh, in the real world for uh, controlling pumps. All right, uh, thank you.